This will be a tutorial on how to 3D print lithophane using an original photo. The first thing we'll need to do uh, is go to Inkscape and make sure that your photo is sized the right way. So I'm going to go ahead and import uh, a photo I've selected. I'm going to use this photo from the Peru trip. When I bring it into Inkscape, you're going to notice, I'm going to zoom out here, that this photo is 28 inches wide by 21 inches high. It's way too big. First thing I'm going to do is hit the lock icon. That's going to keep the proportions the same. And then I can go ahead and use this and I can make this whatever size I want. Okay. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do, uh, we'll, just, we'll just leave it there. I'm going to come over here and make a rectangle. Uh, and I want this rectangle uh, to be 9 by 6. Uh, 9 wide and 6 high. Those are going to be the proportions uh, of the photo we want. So I can drag this box over my photo and I can crop my photo. I'll zoom in. I can crop my photo to whatever size. Uh, if I want more of the mountains in the background, then all I have to do is click the photo. And since I got the size locked, I can go ahead and kind of shrink this down a little bit and I can reposition my box and I can get as much or as little of the background or whatever I want to. Uh, I can click my photo and make it nine wide so it matches up perfectly like that and then I can just move it up or down using the arrow keys to do that. If I wanted to get the full height uh, and change this to 6. Then our width is less than uh, 8.9 and we're going to have, it's hard to see, but you'll have a little bit of white space left on the side. Okay. Uh, so it's best to leave your picture a little bit bigger and then just use the 6x9 box uh, to kind of make it however you want to. So I got my box off. Let me go back and put this back to 9 lock that in and then set it over here. Okay, so I'm going to select the picture, make it a little bit bigger, put the box over the people, and then you're going to select your box. I'm going to shift and select the picture so they're both selected. And then I'm going to say object, clip, and set. It's going to clip it just to the photo I want. I'm going to make sure that's inside my page. Uh, I'll save this. It's always good to save it. Uh, call this Peru test. Uh, but the software used to make the lithophane won't take a SVG file. So what we have to do is select this and then come over here to the menu once, once again and say export PNG image. Should bring up a window. Just leave everything the same. I'm going to come over here to export as. I'm going to put this someplace that I can find it. So all of my stuff. I've got a 3D printer folder uh, for lithophanes. Uh, so I'm going to do Peru test. Okay. And that's how I'm going to save it. Peru test as a PNG file. When I hit save, uh, this picture is the correct size. So now I can go to uh, 3db rocks. Just click that link. Uh, click on images. You can choose your file. And mine should be right here. Uh, oh, so sorry. Back when you're in Inkscape, you have to hit. I set the file name, but you have to make sure you hit export. So once you hit that, green check, and then it'll save. So now I can come over here, and there's my Peru test. So I open that up in the 3DP rocks. I had already selected the outer curve. You can select inner curve. Uh, we hit refresh. It'll redo it. We're going to make all of ours into a lamp, so you want to go ahead uh, and just leave it as the outer curve. Click refresh. 
the settings that you want to use uh, for the model settings. We're going to leave 125 as the maximum size. Thickness is 3 millimeters. Border is 4. Uh, thinnest layer is 0.8. Uh, and the rest of those should be standard. Uh, you make the curve set to 90. And that way it'll be four of those will make a circle. Those are the model settings. Next thing we need are the image settings. We're going to make sure this is a positive image. Mirror image is off. Flip image is off. Refresh on image click. Uh, and then all these are all the way to the left. Uh, and then after that, we can come back here to go back to our model. And then all we have to do is hit download. This will save it as a .stl. And the next tutorial will go through uh, how to take this STL into the Slicer software. Thanks, and have a great day. <laughs>